Hello and welcome back in after a, a, a little while of making no videos at all I was extremely busy and I'm happy that I am back with this amazing requested video oh, I received a like thank you all right so uh, I received an amazing requested video by Mr. R12 43k uh, right so he requested an amazing engine as you can see here his name is if you can see it R12 all right here we go again emails whatever all right r1243 k he requested a, a nissan v6 engine called uh, what is it called the vg30 dett engine uh, it's a 20 turbocharged v6 engine used in the legendary 300 zx uh, vehicle made by nissan or nissan whatever you call it it's an amazing v6 it's powerful it's torquey and it's turbocharged which, which is amazing Alright, so let's start with the specs. As you can see, it's a 60 degrees V shaped engine, 6 cylinder engine, aluminium head block. We have 87 millimeter on the board, 83 millimeters on the stroke, which equals 2960 cc engine, or you can say a 3 liter engine. Dual overhead camshaft with 4 valves per cylinder, aluminium head material, no VVL, and we have forged internals, forged steel crankshaft, heavy duty forged connecting rods, and forged pistons zero quality here and we have 8.5 to 1 uh, is the compression ratio on the turbocharged version and uh, it's like 11.5 to 1 is the naturally aspirated version but this is the turbocharged version so we have 8.5 to 1 is the compression ratio 65 on the cam profile vvt on all cams or you can say variable valve timing on all cams minus one quality on the uh, on the on the camshaft so i can get the precise a precise power and torque like the real engine Let's see, we have a twin turbocharged twin turbochargers with, with ball bearing internals, 446 horsepower supporting intercooler with a custom custom twin turbochargers, 37 millimeters on the compressor, 30.6 millimeters on the turbine, and of course uh, one point it's not maxed out, it's 1.38. Usually I set it on 1.40, which is maxed out, but this one is 1.38. And the official yes, the official boost. The official boost for this engine from the factory was 9.5 to 1 as you can see PSI, zero quality. We have multi-point fuel injection with twin throttle bodies, yes this is how it came from the factory, 12 uh, twin throttle bodies, performance intake manifold like the, like the factory ones, uh, regular 91 octane fuel is needed here, 13.6 is, is the air fuel ratio with 69 on the ignition timing and 6600 is the RPM limit. I mean, I'm not really sure about the I'm not really sure about the RPM if it's official or not, but I'm gonna assume it's. Oh, let's say it's 6,500. This is more official. Zero quality on the fuel system. We have short cast headers, dual exhaust pipes, and you have two-inch exhaust diameter with bypass valves. Uh, this is not necessary. I mean, let's see if we can cancel it and, and make the exhaust. Bigger as you can see, it will, it will, it will go to 3 inch if, without the by, bypass valve, so it's up to you. I'm using uh, three way catalytic converters with reverse flow on the first muffler and straight through on the second muffler. All of, the, all of this gives the engine a total power of 300 horsepower uh, at 6500 rpm and 283 pound feet of torque at 4400 rpm. Now, the, the power peak and the torque peak are really different from the real engine, but the numbers are perfectly matched. Let's see, we have the, reliability. the engine is reliable, its uh, service cost is minimum, and of course the fuel economy, it's not really great, especially, you know, uh, let's say uh, late late 90s, early 2000s, these engines are not really, you know, are not really fuel, fuel economical. And let's see, the emissions are really acceptable and very low, which is good, uh, it uses, uses low octane, which is amazing. As you can see, the engine is quiet, uh, it's responsive, and it has normal smoothness to it. It's lightweight, which is good. It's a, it's a very, very perfect engine. As, as you can see, this has, I mean, it doesn't look like this in real life. I've seen the intake manifold, on, and I've seen pictures of this engine in real life. It it's really, it really looks amazing. I'm going to put a picture of it, of the real engine on the video, so you can see it. I think you already have, you already have seen it when, when you clicked on this video. All right, so let's fire up this beast. Let's see. All right, here we go. We have these turbos. Look at them. The Reed engine actually uses a uh, a Gar Garrett T3 turbos. Yes, uses the engine uses these, and they are they are perfectly perfect running turbos. All right, let's fire this beast up. As you can see, this is the curve.
as you can hear it's quiet it's sporty at low rpm and it's crazy and loud at high rpm This is the block, as you can see, it looks magnificent. These are the cylinder heads, they look good too. Look at the camshafts, the loops. Yeah, looks amazing, right? Alright, so this is the so this is the VG30 DETT V6 made by Nissan, which is a very very good engine. It's reliable, it's powerful, and it's torquey. It's a very much perfect V6, and I really, I really like, I really enjoy doing it, and I'm really happy that uh, like, like, like Mr. R1243K requested it. Thank you so much, thank, thank you so much for your amazing request, and thank you so much, guys, for watching. Please, if you enjoyed the video, uh, hit that like button. If you are new to my channel, uh, get subscribed and share the video if you want to share it. And of course, keep requesting amazing engines and cars, and I will make them very, very soon when I have a free time. So thank you so much for watching. I'm gonna see you very soon with more engines and more cars and automation game and goodbye for now my friends.